Hey everyone, welcome to Manage Engine. In this video, we're going to walk you through upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, especially since Windows 10 is reaching its end of life soon. Let's get started and ensure your system is ready for the upgrade. First, let's talk about Windows 10's end of life. Microsoft has officially announced that support for Windows 10 will end on October 14th, 2025. After this date, no more updates, security patches, or bug fixes will be released. To stay secure and ensure optimal performance, it's a good idea to upgrade to Windows 11 well before this deadline. Before starting the upgrade process, let's go over the system requirements for Windows 11. Here's what you need. Your device needs a 1 GHz or faster processor with at least two cores and a 64-bit architecture. Supported processors include Intel, 8th generation or newer, and AMD Ryzen 2000 series or later. Make sure to check your CPU model as older processors may not support Windows 11. Next, a minimum of 4 GB of RAM is required. However, to ensure better performance, especially if you multitask or run heavy applications, we recommend at least 8 GB. Also, your device must have at least 64 gigabytes of available storage for the OS and essential updates. If you're using an HDD, consider upgrading to an SSD for a significant performance boost. Windows 11 requires UEFI firmware, secure boot enabled, and TPM 2.0, trusted platform module version 2.0, for added security. You may need to enable secure boot and TPM 2.0 through your BIOS settings. Followed by that, your graphics card should support DirectX 12 or later and have a WDDM2.x driver. This ensures that your system can run modern applications and take full advantage of Windows 11's features. Speaking of display, it should have at least 720 pixel resolution and a minimum 9-inch diagonal size. This ensures that Windows 11's interface displays properly without distortion. A stable internet connection is required to complete setup and download necessary updates. For Windows 11 Home Edition, a Microsoft account is also required to finish the initial setup. And last but not the least, before upgrading, run Microsoft's PC Health Check Tool. This tool checks your system's compatibility with Windows 11 and offers guidance on any hardware upgrades you might need. Now, let's dive into the steps to upgrade to Windows 11.24 H2 using Manage Engine Patch Manager Plus before deploying the Windows 11.24 H2 update. Make sure you meet all the necessary prerequisites. Ensure you're using version 10.0147 or above. If you're on an older version, you'll need to upgrade first. Similar Enable Feature Pack update in Windows tab. Let me show you how. Navigate to Admin, Patch Database Settings, click the Windows tab, and enable the Feature Pack option. Ensure that you haven't declined uh, feature pack updates in the Decline Patches section. Finally, run a compatibility check to ensure your system meets all requirements for upgrading to Windows 11 24H2. The next step is to download and add the dependency patch to your patch store. Here's how you do it for the Enterprise Edition. First, download the Windows 11 Enterprise Edition 24H2 ISO from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. In Manage Engine Patch Manager Plus, go to Patches, Download Patches, click Upload Patches, and apply the All Patches filter. Search for Patch ID 111894. This is the dependency patch for Windows 11. Upload the ISO to the Patch Store. Enter Checksum and select Upload. Similarly, for the Professional Edition, download the Windows 11 Professional Edition 24 H2 ISO from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Search for patch ID 111890. This is the dependency patch for Windows 11 Professional Edition. Upload the ISO to the patch store, enter checksum, and select Upload. Now that the dependency patches are in place, it's time to deploy the Windows 11 24 H2 update. Kindly note that the upgrade is only available for Windows 10 version 2004 and above, so ensure your systems meet this requirement. If you're upgrading from Windows 10, go to the Supported Patches view. 
Select the Windows 1124 H2 feature pack patches for deployment. Since I am showing you all a demonstration of Enterprise Edition, choose patch ID 111895. For other editions, such as Professional, Home, etc., choose patch ID 111891. Once you've selected the patches, install the patch. You can name the config as Win11 Enterprise. This is the patch we are going to deploy. Coming to Deployment Policy, let's choose Deploy at the Earliest Policy, as it is a feature pack update. You can define your target here. Click Deploy immediately and the task is created. If you are upgrading from Windows 11 versions, go to the Missing Patches view in the Patches tab, select the Windows 1124 H2 Feature Pack patches you wish to deploy. Since it is a demonstration of Enterprise Edition, select Patch ID 111896. For other editions like Professional, Home, select Patch ID 111892. Follow the same steps as before. And our deployment task for Windows 11 upgrade is done. Once you've initiated the deployment, monitor its progress through the Deployment Status section. This will give you real-time information about the success or failure of the deployment. If any devices fail to upgrade, you can troubleshoot directly from the Deployment Status page to resolve any issues. This monitoring feature ensures that you're always aware of the upgrade status for all devices. And that's a wrap. You've successfully upgraded your systems from Windows 10 to Windows 1124H2 using Manage Engine Patch Manager Plus. By upgrading to Windows 11, you ensure that your systems stay secure, perform optimally, and are ready for the future of Windows. Thank you all.